Choosing the right router that has a decent Wi-Fi signal range for your home or home office is quite a tricky thing to do. Since in order for you to find out which one is the best or has a better range in terms of the signal, you need to test them out side by side. So in this video, we are going to compare four of the most popular router out there in the market right now. We're going to test out which one of these four wireless router is the best in terms of Wi-Fi range and also it fits on your budget. So what we have here is the Asus RT N12HP, the Cisco Linksys E1200, then the TP-Link THW841HP, and finally the D-Link DIR605L. Before we proceed with the real-world test, here's a quick comparison of the four. They all have a wireless end feature with over 300 Mbps speed rate with some advanced security features. Each devices also have four LAN ports, but in terms of the antenna, only the Asus router has a 9 dBi gain omnidirectional antenna. And the D-Link has the 5 dBi, then the TP-Link has 8 dBi, while the Cisco doesn't have any antenna. You will also notice that they differ in terms of the sizes. And the D-Link is the smallest of them all, while the Cisco router is the largest. And in terms of the height combining the antenna, the Asus is the tallest. Alright, before I proceed with the test, let me just show you a diagram on what locations will I be checking the signal range. So take note that I am on a second floor building and I have position in six locations. My first location is in my workstation inside the room. Next is beside the routers on my mini studio setup. Then the third location is outside my home office. Then the fourth location is near the staircase before going down. Fifth location is in the middle of the staircase, which you will notice there are walls blocking the area. And last but not the least, is in the first floor of the building, just a few steps after going down the stairs. So in this test, I used the Xiaomi Mi4i smartphone with an installed app called Wireless Analyzer. I choose this app since I can visually show you in time graph when I move from one place to another. So without further ado, here is the real world signal test. Take note that this is a continuous recording for the graph and the first test actually the routers is set to wireless N only just to see on how it performs on a long range situation. And for the first location, you will notice that the ASUS is in a stable position following up by the TP-Link but you will see the TP-Link has a huge spike ups and down so that means there are times it's not in a stable signal while for the third place is the D-Link and also not having a stable signal that's why the graph has a highs and lows and for the last position it's the Cisco router now moving on to the second location Asus still shows stable graph, then the TP-Link, same as the first location. It still does have some huge spikes, but as you can notice, the D-Link is having a zigzag position and sudden drop in the middle of the test, which I think there's interference happened around that time. And still in the last position is the Cisco router. Alright, so now moving on to the third location, which is outside my home office. Suddenly, the TP-Link ranked first, followed by the Asus, and then the D-Link. And as usual, Cisco going to the last position. Going to the fourth location, near the staircase but still in the second floor. We can see Asus again made it to the first position, then the TP-Link followed by the D-Link and the Cisco for the last position again. Okay, so now this is the exciting part. Since we are in a location where the pathways are blocked by the walls, since we are now in a staircase. And here we see which devices stands out. And we only had two signals left here and that is the ASUS and surprisingly the D-Link. But still, ASUS shows a great signal strength comparing to the D-Link. And finally for the last location and that is the first floor of the building right after the staircase. And as you can see, only ASUS retains in this category. But D-Link still shows up but it's just a snippet of the signal but totally it's out of the chart. So this concludes that ASUS wins the challenge for the Wi-Fi range test competing with the D-Link, Cisco, and the TP-Link routers. And as a bonus guys, I also tested out the routers on a default setting. So this is the real-time range test out of the box. And you decide which router shows better performance. And let me know in the comment section down below what do you think about this comparison. But of course, it still differs on your budget when it comes to the pricing. The ASUS is around 2550 then the TP-Link is around 1850 and the Linksys is 1999 For the D-Link, it's 2300 So comparing to the D-Link, you're just paying an additional 200 pesos for the ASUS router. So maybe you already decided which one you're going to purchase on your next router device. But then again, when it comes to the pricing, comparing to the three routers, as what I've said, you're paying for the features and also take note that ASUS routers firmware can be customized if you're an advanced user. And also there is a three year warranty, which I can say it's still a big plus for that price. But for the size, I find the D-Link portable and still has the signal strength. For the Cisco, I was quite surprised since I know in the industry, it's quite a popular brand for the companies. 
but I was really disappointed in terms of the signal strength but for the TP-Link it's also a great choice for a mid-tier router. So there you go guys that is the Wi-Fi range test challenge and if you have questions, feedbacks and suggestions feel free to comment it down below. And as always don't forget to like if you find this video useful and if you haven't subscribed to my channel be sure to hit that subscribe button at the bottom of this video and once again I'm Arnavino and see you on my next video.